Hi, um, third through fifth grade. Today we are doing um, an Armenian church in Armenia. I, it's not any particular Armenian church. We're just going to do the basic Armenian church. They're quite beautiful. And they've been standing for some of them for hundreds and hundreds of years. So I picked something a little simple enough for us to get done. So I'm going to do my page sideways. We're going to start with a square in the middle of our page. So this is where we're going to learn some perspective and architecture in this particular piece. All right. Well, some basic drawings of architecture, but that's it. Just the perspective wise. It's not going to look correct in the beginning. We're going to change it. So next step, we're going to start with a triangle over here. And you're going to do a straight line down from that triangle. Then you're going to do a small triangle and then a bigger triangle. Okay. Now I want you to add a diagonal line here. We need to shrink up. As it's going back, it needs to shrink the building. It needs to create that illusion that it is. Not that it actually is. And then you erase this corner. This is the front. So none of that needs to happen here. Same thing needs to happen. Wait, wait, I did that wrong. Up here. So just correct your triangles. We're creating the illusion that it's going backwards. Okay. Now, from this corner to this corner, hopefully they're around the same height. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. We're going to draw a straight line. All right. This is really straight. I'm going to make this slightly diagonal here, too. Just to make it look a little more appealing and not like a box. All right, next step. So we have a line here. We want to add one more here. And then we want to erase these two connecting. Actually, all three of these connecting lines. So while you fix this for nothing, we don't need it. And this one. And this one. Let's get rid of all of them. It's not a home. The roof is a little different. This is not typical architecture that you see today. This is actually one of the most basic churches. Most of them are much more elaborate than this one that I found. On the top, we're going to add, I guess they call it a steeple. Let's start with something simple. Let's do a straight line, straight line, and then connect the two with a V in the middle. Okay, next, let's add, I don't like that this is not centered, so I, I want this V to be right in the middle. So if you made the same mistake, go ahead and fix it. Make sure you have a symmetrical looking shape up here. Now, we're going to do a bird-like shape in between. Okay, now we're going to add two straight lines coming down from that point you're going to add an extra line on this side and an extra line on this side notice how i keep the curves going in my steeple going to add a straight line here and a cross at the top all right let's move on 
we are going to add a cross on this side don't forget since this side is diagonal so will the cross be so there's that cross okay above our cross we're also going to have a diagonal window but it's gonna look straight just the bottom just the bottom of that window will be diagonal. We will have two straight windows in the similar place, just like on the other side, on this side. All right, we're almost done with this church. The rest is all texture. It has those um, I don't know the name for the roof, those little things, tile types of stuff on top. So you can go ahead and put letter C's over here. And the whole thing is made from stones. And it, we're not going to draw all that in right now. But basically, you don't want it to be perfect because they didn't do it perfect. All the stones are random sizes and shapes. So kind of go ahead lightly. Don't put this in dark. And um, put these etchings in of squares and rectangles throughout. Okay, let's create a background. So there was mountains and grass so this is like kind of on these rolling hills this one church I found there's a city behind it we're not going to do all that we're just going to have this kind of lonely church around these rolling hills I mean, if you want to do that go for it for our purposes I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible I'm assuming the doorway to this church is on the other side all right so that is our drawing let's begin coloring save the church for last i'm going to show you we're going to need lots of different browns oranges and reds well not necessarily red but like auburns so you can get those ready i'm going to just color in the background and the bottom with crayons just to make my life faster using the side You could add some tones into this. So you could imagine this was maybe your lightest blue because it's too late to go back. You can't go lighter. I could press darker at the top. Or I could use the same color and just press in the middle. and the top and then press even darker I can get a darker blue Looks like it's the same blue. Let's try this one. Nope. So I found a darker one. You don't want to see a stripe from the dark to light in the sky. You want it to go smooth, dark, medium, light, but it needs to be smooth. So I had a little bit of the stripe, I'm getting rid of it by going over it. There's my more realistic looking sky. Um, I don't know what color. we got to make two different versions over here. This is brown, so we don't want to do browns. Maybe we could do grays. That's a good idea. Let's do grays for the rolling hills, rocky hills. Let's start with a basic gray for now. I 
always break my crayons. Most people hate when they break their crayons. I break them on purpose. Because I like to use all sides of any drawing tool I'm using. Okay, again, you can't just leave it one color. You guys are older kids, okay? Dark to light, this one was gonna go light to dark. So you wanna darken up the bottom. We are creating illusions. You guys are magicians with your crayons. As for the greens, I'm going to start by pressing pretty light. And this is going to be just like the gray hills. You want light to dark. So I did the light everywhere first. Now I'm going to do kind of medium. Okay, now I want dark, and if this isn't going to work, I'll get a different dark. Okay, so I found a darker one. that's done I'm going to start my church with just kind of a lighter orangey brown everywhere I see I missed some sky Now move on to another color. So let's see how different this is. So let's start putting in some tones. I'm gonna put in a darker, similar color, just darker. I'm gonna do the bottoms of the building darker to create more tones, but I'm not gonna stop there. I'm going to add here and there stripes with this color, some patches filled in even. Okay, let's move on to the next color. So add more stripies, add patches filled in. As I said, there were, these are stones. Some are square, some are rectangle.
I like this color for the roof as well. So I'm going to fill in that roof a little more with this. Lightly, not too dark. And then I'm going to go over it, the C's with this. With that one, I'll press darker. Let's see. No, you think I think I'll use just regular brown for that so it stands out. Same color I will use for my steeple. brown for the cross at the top I'm going to use the brown the dark brown for the cross on the side of the building as well I'm also going to use this dark brown to do more patches of stones And we want to get black for the windows, as you can't see inside. Okay, let's get the black. Let's fill in the windows and see how the whole thing looks. I mean, you can go all out with the squares and keep doing different colors of earth tones. It will The more you do, the nicer it's going to look. I'm going to pause and just kind of keep going with that for a minute or two. I'm going to gently put in these creases in the building. Okay, I'm going to pause and continue doing some squares. All right, I'm going to stop there. I mean, as I said, you could keep going if you want to, but I think that's good enough for our purposes of learning how to draw this kind of building. Hope you had fun. I'll see you again next week.